Did the fig tree wither immediately or did it wither overnight? Contradiction in the Bible, 012. Taken from AnsonChristianity.com, 101 Contradictions in the Bible by Shabir Ali. The Gospels say that Jesus cursed the fig tree. Did it wither, did it wither at once? Yes, according to Matthew. No, it withered overnight, according to Mark. Shabir is very concerned. Let's, let's do some investigation for him. Okay, in scenario one, it withers immediately. In Matthew, it says that on their way uh, back to the city, they were hungry. Uh, he sees the tree and it says, may you never bear fruit again. Immediately, the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly, they asked. Scenario two is very similar. Um, so, the leaving... Uh, the leaving Bethany, they see the fig tree. Then he said to the tree, May no one eat of your fruit again. And his disciples heard this statement. Um, when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Look, the tree you cursed has withered. So, one is withering immediately, one is withering overnight. What is it? It can't be both. What a clear contradiction this is. No, it is not. Matthew is summarizing the cursing of the fig tree in one event. One event. One day. Whereas Mark is describing the cursing of the fig tree over two days. Out of the city and then in the morning. Summarizing events is not a contradiction. As you can see, Matthew is describing the uh, the leaves, whereas Mark describes the roots and the leaves being withered. So there's a progression with from the roots. Whereas this is just saying the fig tree, yeah. So it has more. This has more detail. So obviously there's a progression. There's um, something's happened over time. Um, you can read this in your own in your, in your own time. Basically, it's, it's saying the same thing. Um, Matthew is is represented as a whole taking place, um, whereas Mark is so um, yeah. Whereas Mark is uh, it distinguishes the days. Um, a very similar thing, um, a contradiction for Jairus's daughter as well. Um, because it's just the style of Matthew, the way he writes, he summarizes information into one event. Um, and I say again, um, summarizing events is not a contradiction. So actually, what happened then? It's just, I'll explain anything um, uh, from both stories, and now you can see that there's no contradiction at all. So they encountered the fig tree twice, but that was confirmed in Mark. They go into the city. They see the, the tree the first time. Jesus curses the tree and the tree dies. The leaves wither. Only the leaves wither immediately. Yeah? The disciples together remark that the fig tree has withered. They leave the city. They see the tree a second time the next morning. Full blight is set in. Peter sees the tree again. And, and sees that the tree is completely dead, including the roots. And he says so. Um, again, Matthew's a summary. Mark describes the fig tree story in a series of discrete events. And summarizing events is not a contradiction. So therefore, this is 100% not a contradiction. Thank you.